chips are no joke. <laughs> National Park. It is my fourth of 10 parks for the summer and my 11th out of 48 National Park. Staying here for a couple nights. I just got my campsite. Um, it works on a first come first serve basis so when you get here you are given a map to the campsite and then you just drive in, pick whichever site you want and occupy it. So either like leave your vehicle or set up your tent like I did. Um, and then you go and pay for however many nights you want. Yeah, let's go explore the park. check-in. Oh, today has been stressful. I woke up, it was kind of nice out. I hung out at my campsite and then I drove to hike this trail, the Sand River Trail in Lake Superior. It was beautiful. That was the highlight of my day was that trail. The waterfalls were amazing. Um, I thought the low point of my day was going to be that my in reach was being a little bit finicky and wasn't sending messages as fast as I would have liked, but the actual low point of my day now is that my car is making a noise. What is that noise? It sounds like something is stuck in a wheel, but I don't think anything's stuck in a wheel. Um, Sucks. I also don't have cell service unless I go to the visitor center and use the Wi-Fi, which just makes this a little more stressful. I'll make the nachos and finish setting up camp, and then maybe walk down to the beach because there's a beach close by. in the morning. Guacamole and nachos. Okay, my night seven check-in. Wow, this is one week of being on the road. As you can probably tell, I'm in a bit better of a mood today than I was yesterday. Um, and that's because my low of yesterday with my car ended up sorting itself out. I drove into town to see if anyone could look at my car and went to three places slash called a third, like went to two places called a third place and they're all like super busy for the next couple days. So that sucked. Um, one place Napa, um, said they could fit me in at 3.30. So I was like, okay, thank you so much. They were very nice. Um, but then I realized that I hadn't really been hearing the noise and I thought it was just because I was going like 50, but then I just drove really slowly around the parking lot and I don't hear the noise anymore. So I'm starting to think that maybe it was just something was actually just stuck and it's like dislodged itself since I went like a little bit faster. Um, so I'm going to drive back to camp now and see if the noise comes back and if it doesn't then 
we're gonna say it's all good. Knock on wood, it is fine, and it's my car is fine. Um, the other good thing, hey, <laughs> um, the other good thing about this morning and having to drive into Marathon is that I saw a moose. <laughs> um, I literally was thinking to myself like maybe I am supposed to drive into town today because I'm gonna see a moose on my drive and I did. I literally did. I don't have a video of it or a photo because I was just panicking and all I got is this. Oh no, it ran in the bush. It's my first moose that I've seen like while on land, which I realize sounds crazy, but I've only previously seen moose before from in a helicopter. <laughs> um, so that was really exciting. I think it was a baby though, because it was pretty small. Um, so that was one highlight of my day. The other though highlight of my day was that I hiked all of the day hike easy and moderate trails in Pakasa. So some facts about Lake Superior that I just learned um, is the world's largest lake by surface area and it also holds a tenth of the world's fresh water. Um, its coastline is larger than the coastline of Nova Scotia and yeah that's just like so cool. It also I think is like the least inhabited shoreline of any of the Great Lakes which just makes it so peaceful and beautiful. Like. like a lot of small sets of stairs that lead to like little bridges and stuff and so you kind of keep getting brought back up above the lake so that you're looking down on the lake and yeah it's really good for bird watching because you kind of get brought up into the trees and, huh. it's getting sunny though so I'm getting sweaty were amazing the views of Lake Superior were beautiful the beach was beautiful um, the last trail I did went like up through the forest with like a bunch of stairs that go onto like boardwalks and yeah it's just so pretty I really really like Pakasa I was saying the name wrong for so long I was calling it Pakawaska like just adding syllables but anyways <laughs> Pakasa um, tomorrow I weather permitting have a big hike planned so i need to go to bed now and actually i need to journal and then i need to go to bed because i need all my energy for tomorrow's 18 kilometer hike 18 one eight not 80 i feel like i mumbled that so yeah anyways good night i will catch y'all tomorrow night Bye.